Hey guys, this is Richard, web developer at Square One Media, and in this tutorial we're going to go into a little bit more detail for our WordPress series. We're going to look at how to set up sidebar or anywhere widgets. So in my theme here, my very basic theme, I've already left an area for where the sidebar is going to go, but how do we set it up? Where do we start? What do we do? If we head over to our functions.php file, I've already placed the information here that we need to set up our sidebar, and I'll talk you through it. First of all, we do the function alphabet widgets in it, and that basically is the name of this function here. This line, add action widgets in it, which gets called when widgets are wanted to be returned, it calls this function alphabet widgets in it, which is here. And in here we have a register sidebar with an array of arguments. So the name, we're gonna call it sidebar. That's gonna be the name of this widget area. The ID is gonna be sidebar widgets. So in the CSS, we can style it that way. Before widget, now this is quite important if you want to customize the widgets for your theme so that people can have uh, different layouts and different images or background colors, fonts, that sort of thing. And how you actually use those styles for CSS is based on these basically. So we have a div class side widget and an after widget is going to be the closing div tag. So we can style every single side widget, no matter what it is. Before the title, we're gonna have a H3. We're gonna give it a class rounded, which is the default class and a closing H3 tag in the after title. Close that off like so. And then, like I said before, this add action calls that function. Now we just have to go to our dashboard here. And if we go to appearance and we did everything right, we'll see a new appearance here in our theme for widgets. And there we go, sidebar. So that is what we called it here. So if we just change that to dog, we'll see it's called dog. So you can call it whatever you want, it doesn't matter. So let's put in, I don't know, let's have a categories and call it categories. I've already done some styling before, so I don't need to do any styling. Um, let's have also an archive. Let's stick that on there. Call it archives. You don't have to have a title, obviously. Do drop down and display as post. Inf nah, actually, let's do that. Archives and categories. So if we refresh now, you'll see that nothing's changed. And the reason for that is because we need to add our widget area to our page. If you look on the index.php that I've got up here, we have to bring in the sidebar. That's the first thing we need to do. So we need to open up a PHP tag and it's simple. It's just called get sidebar parentheses, close that off like so, and that will get the sidebar. Now we need a sidebar.php file for this to work, which I have here. And we've got an aside in there because in this instance, we're going to be using the aside HTML5 tag as the sidebar. And we just put in here a little PHP function called dynamic underscore sidebar. And we open parentheses and it's the ID of the sidebar we set up. We call it sidebar widgets. And we close that off like so now that should bring through our sidebar widgets on every page where they are and there we go brilliant so this works as as you would expect we can click the uh, april and i've already got an archives.php file set up so that's that's fine podcasts is there video is there and it's also responsive because i've set it up that way so we can go down to this small and then when it gets to about here, that's where it pops off into mobile. And there we go. So how to create a sidebar with WordPress. I've skipped over the styling because we can concentrate on CSS in other videos. Some people just want WordPress stuff. So I believe that's it. Thanks very much for watching, guys. If you have any questions, please leave a comment down below. And if you have any suggestions or any tips of your own for the creating sidebars, any quick tips or whatever, just leave them for uh, viewers. So thanks a lot for watching, guys. Check out our other videos and don't forget to subscribe. I'm Richard from Square One Media. Take care.